gonna hear that voice, a little vibration telling you to squeeze the little plastic um, device. That voice will be coming from Penny Gilead's anesthesiologist, a computer, yes, a computer. Virginia Mason is the first in the Pacific Northwest and among the first in the country to use the Sedasis machine, which is FDA approved, but only for certain procedures. It is a very specific niche of patients that we're talking about, relatively healthy patients having colonoscopies and upper GI procedures. A nurse is there to monitor Penny at all times and to check her vital signs. It's a dramatic difference. Dr. Otto Lin says the Sedasis machine allows for the use of a more powerful drug called propofol, which is easier on patients but also more dangerous to administer. Penny, who's also a registered nurse, is not the least bit phased. If anything starts to happen with me physiologically, the machine's gonna slow down the infusion so that I wake up and don't progress deeper into sedation, which is where the danger zone is. Squeeze the handset now. Penny is asked to squeeze a controller to measure her response times. Only Dr. Lin can increase the dose. The machine simply puts on the brakes if needed. Before this, Virginia Mason used sedatives administered by a nurse, which often left patients nauseous, groggy, and worse. Sometimes they didn't work for everybody. We no longer have those situations where patients feel like they're inadequately sedated. Minutes after it's over, Penny is awake. Do the whole thing. I'm fine. I'm clear-headed, and I s slept through the whole thing. I don't remember anything, and that's what I wanted.